Hey guys, this is 1977 Logan here. Um, back to do an update. I haven't uh, shot any video of the tank for a while because I was kind of just holding out to see what was going to go on. Um, see if you can see this. Up here on this purple piece of Tonga branch and uh, above it on the rocks. I don't know if you can see all that green algae kind of waving around. Some more on that rock over there. Um, after my cyclone I had added my mushroom which is just doing awesome but after that I started getting a lot of this algae and it was on all the rocks everywhere I mean it was really unsightly and I wasn't quite sure what to do so I started asking questions from guys that have been in the hobby a while like Jay Walker he gave me good advice um, I got a hold of John at, reef clean, at reefcleaners.org and uh, ordered some backup for my cleanup crew which was here immediately everything lived he sent me twice as many of the dwarf sarah snails that i ordered uh, i had also ordered five uh, nasarius vibex snails everything came alive um, acclimated them put them in the tank and uh, they took off started doing their thing but uh the reason I'm shooting this video now and I haven't cleaned my glass or anything I'm about to do a water change clean my glass but I figure I better get some of this algae on video now because this guy right here is a monster he I uh, got him this afternoon at like three o'clock in the afternoon so then I temperature acclimated him in the bag then I water acclimated him so he hasn't been in the tank for for hardly any time at all and I'm I'm here to tell you these rocks were just covered like those other ones in hair algae just waving around or I'm not sure if it's hair, hair algae or what they call uh, bryopsis I, I'm really not sure what it is um, but that guy has decimated almost everything on these rocks here almost everything that was on the rock around my mushroom right now he's finishing off the last little bit and decimating the stuff that was on this tonga branch uh... there's a little more down here in my in my little alcove i got built down here towards the bottom he's been working on it but he hasn't got it there's a little more on the back side of the of the mushroom rock and then you can see what's up there on top but in just that short amount of time that guy has went nuts I mean he is a machine he never stops so far emerald crab is what he is and he is magnificent this this dude is a beast but uh I really wasn't one to shoot the shoot any video of the tank because it just it just didn't look good and I wasn't sure what was gonna happen if this algae was just gonna increase and increase and have a problem um, you know be a be a constant problem I still don't know I don't know if it's gonna come back but for now he is just a one-man wrecking crew um, a lot of cool other stuff that's going on with the tank I'm not sure the cameras gonna be able to pick it up but if if you look you can see on my glass all this white stuff I've got a pod explosion I mean there are pods all over my front glass all over the side glass there's pods all over the back wall. I mean, it, they're everywhere. They're just, I mean, out of nowhere. Just, I seen one or two one day, and the next day it was like, like I said, a pot explosion. There's a better view of that hair. Like I said, I'm not, I don't know exactly what it is. There's my second emerald crab also. He's a real tiny guy. He seems to do the finer, detailed work. I picked these guys up at the, at the local fish store. Um... I was going to do the Kent Tech M dosing to get rid of it. If if it doesn't stay gone with these guys, then that's the route I'm probably going to go. But for now, these guys are just tearing it a new one, to say the least. So, um, anyway, like I said, I've, 
I planned on shooting more video, but I just didn't want to because the way the tank looked. You know, this is my first saltwater tank. I'll be the first to tell you I don't I don't know jack about it other than asking questions from guys that have been in the hobby and know what they're doing and uh, stuff that I read on forums. So pretty much everything I'm learning, I'm either learning it the hard way or uh, you know having to ask the right people the right questions and getting good info from all them guys so like I said I'm gonna do a water change tonight I'm gonna scrub my back wall down I'm gonna wipe my glass all down and uh, and uh, everything's going great right now our ODI machines working great I'm not sure when I filled my tank up I originally had used store-bought RO RO water and I'm not sure if it had phosphates and that that's what's caused this original breakout of uh, or outbreak of algae but I've been doing some pretty regular uh, small water changes with my new RODI water so and I also added phosphan to my to my media rack so now in my media rack I'm running a piece of filter floss a bag of phosphan chemi pure and activated carbon and uh, everything everything seems to be going good water perimeters are all good the tune skimmer I just cleaned it so there's probably not anything to show you right now but now but maybe by later it'll be uh, back going again it's just kicking out some really nasty nasty looking uh, skin mate it's a little wet it's not the super dry skin mate but I mean it's really dark and uh, and uh, it was, it's, I must have found the sweet spot but uh, anyway so here's what I got going on inside. I got two hermits in here I got the two emeralds I ordered 15 of these dwarf Ceres John sent me 30 and then I got the five Nasarius Vibexes and uh, here's what my mushroom looks like that dude's happy really happy the colors are awesome on him. Sometimes he's green, sometimes he's bluish purple. Right now he's swollen up almost completely covering the little piece of live rock he came on. Then at night he, uh, he shrinks back down. But anyway, I'm just thrilled right now with these emerald crabs. So I'm going to go ahead and get this video on. And I'll be more making more videos as the progress comes along with this, uh, with this algae problem. Because it's, uh, it's, it's amazing. That Tonga branch was had tufts of it all over it, and I mean, I can only just see a few right here by the by the where the branches split. Uh, he's just decimated everything. This rock was covered in it. That little dip in the rock was full of it, and within a matter of no time, he he the crab is just both crabs have just decimated this stuff. So I'm stoked. Anyway, comments, questions, please subscribe if you like my videos. Um, if you want to see a saltwater tank as it comes along from with a guy that doesn't know Jack Diddley about it, but learning on the fly, I'm your guy. Later.